ญาติจงอ่ะอีจงมองญาติเฉยเมลิกาญาติทั้งยิงมองเสงเฮาเกอรูมีเนาะญาติรูมีเนาะรูมีญาติจับบวดญาติหูรูโปรเจกต์เน
uh, here from long time to this time and everything mm -hmm. get done and done well so I like to thank you the uh, the board mm -hmm. and also thank you the city of St. Paul yes. to offer this land this mm -hmm. part for us for the Chinese for the Hmong people and for the community at large. Mm -hmm. So thank you for the, uh, mm -hmm. the city. Integrity, window installation. Yapimung Luku Kawache, Nyotoho Sang Minnesota. Beta Holu Yang, Jokachai, Tia Soche, Tia Woche. Dashi no Pimui Ko program, Sili Blopa, Dola, Lopaka Te, Koshen Do, Go, Mali Wali Te, Toka Kolum, Kotokotai Tala, Koyo Se Kotong Kehi, Inda, Tutsululi. Yeah, and it's really been my honor to work with Chinese and Hmong leaders in the community and get to know people and, and become friends. I mean, it really has been a friendship project. Um, the board is very diverse and there is quite a large committee that's been working on this particular event rounding up entertainers I'm not sure if you spoke about about the entertainment that will will, will be on Saturday the 18th but starting out with uh, native drummers and the gang and um, there'll be Korean drummers Chinese dance Pandao exhibits it's just gonna be a wonderful day along with the speakers from all, all around the world um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what this plaza is. Here's the Hmong Plaza. You may be showing a better picture of this um, that shows the completed plaza. At the moment, we are still waiting for funding from anyone who wants to help out to complete the necklace, which will go in the middle, and also the gangs. So these are three pieces of sculpture that uh, came in over budget. So we are, we are definitely going to be looking for people who really want to be a part of this and add their name to the donor wall, which is also one of the, one of the, the elements of phase two. This donor wall will be a granite and people who give money will have their names etched in this granite. And that will be just as you come into the, the gate, the entry gate. So I just wanted to let everyone know how wonderful it's it's been to be to see this happening, to be to be standing in the middle of the elephant's foot here, and to have the mountains of uh, of Laos and and and, uh, and Asia behind me. It's it's really just going to be beautiful. So on May 18th, Saturday, we will have beautiful weather like this. Everybody's praying for it. All the shamans, everyone, and um, at 8:30 things will start. And shortly after that, there will be a traditional, uh, that's pronounced kite, right? Gutia. Oh, gutia, gutia, yeah. gutia, traditional Hmong opening. And then the ribbon cutting ceremony, um, a Dakota drum group, of course, we want to thank the native uh, people uh, whose land this was, uh, gang performance, and um, then there will be an explanation of the cultural symbols here in this plaza. Uh, after that, there will be a dance performance, um, something that was commissioned by the Garden Society. It's a Chinese dance that involves a Hmong character and, and Chinese dancers who are becoming friends. And it's really very beautiful. It's called Encounter at Yuming Luan. That's only 10 minutes, but that will be part of it. Then there'll be many VIP speakers, all these international folks that Mr. Ying mentioned. They will be explaining how they feel about all this. And, um, and that will include Chinese and Korean. And then there will be more cultural performances from 10 until noon. And all during this time, there will be a Pandao exhibit and Chinese calligraphy and a painting exhibit up, up at the Chinese pavilion, the Shangjiang Ting. So this is free and open to the public and we welcome everyone to come. So right now we're, we're at phase, phase two of the garden and it includes all of these elements here. The donor wall, which I mentioned, the Hmong Plaza, which I'm standing on. Um, we are landscaping from the pavilion down Thank to the you. channel there. There's going to be a Chinese chess table over by the pavilion. There will be a moon gate leading from this land over to Picnic Island. And also there will be a moon viewing platform in the lake. 
which you may also fish from if you would like. <laughs> So this is where we are. At the moment, we, we are looking to complete the necklace and also the gang. And that's where the bids came in much, much over what we had budgeted. So we'll, we'll be looking for some help with that. And um, then the last phase would, would be this. This is phase three. This is, this is what's called the Lakeside Learning Pavilion. And that would be right down there on the shore facing Picnic Island and a wonderful place to have exhibits and classes and even performances. So that's, that's where we are. We've come a long way since, well, 2005 is when the Garden Society started. This became part of the, the comprehensive plan in 2011. And 2014, there was a community meeting where Senator Her and others, uh, Tim Mahoney, got funding to hire an architect in Changsha, China. And that's when we got the, the first plan, it was in 2015. And then it really began construction in 2018. And here we are. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the middle of um, a campaign that's called the Bridge Builders Campaign, because we will literally be building, building bridges over to Picnic Island and also in, in front of the, the plaza. And cultural bridges, friendship bridges, um, for individuals to contribute and get their name on the wall, that would be $2,000. And for organizations or countries to contribute, that would be $4,000. And then you get your, you become part of the legacy. You become engraved in stone forever. <laughs> and, and, and we'll be forever grateful. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there is. You can go to the, the Garden Society website is mnchinagarden.org and I think I, we will also have a, a QR code that we can flash for you here so that you could donate directly if you would like. อีตุจูญาวโตเปตะวอดงเนาะนะเจยิงเจงเคติจอนนิงโตติเฉมาตัดชินอตุโมจอปิชัวโตหลอปตุตุงกางหลอเจอ่าเปตุจิโตคาต